Hey everybody, Dave from Mathagon here, and I'm going to show you how to make an assignment in Polypad and assign it to your classes. So first I'm going to make some questions I would want my students to answer. So I might say find the greatest common factor of the pairs of numbers below. And then I will go to the number tiles and pull out the numbers I want them to find the greatest common factor of. So first I'm going to do 18 and 30. I'll put that over here. And then my second question, I want them to do 216 and 252. So I'll pull those over and I'll give them space to do their work here. And then I'm going to go to the question builder and I'm going to put in a text box to represent the answer of the greatest common factor of these pairs of numbers. So I know that the greatest common factor of 18 and 30 is 6, and I know this one is 36. So now I'm going to go to my library. I'm going to save this. I'll call it GCF practice. I might make a lot more interesting questions on this assignment if I was actually doing it with my class. I'm going to save it. Go to the class tab. I'm going to choose the class I want to assign it to. I just have one Mathagon example class in this account. So if I had multiple classes, there would uh, they would show up in this drop down menu. And I'm going to assign it to that class. Great, I've shared it. Now I have my daughter enrolled in this class. So I'm going to go to a different browser. And you can see I'm signed in as my daughter. Her name is Emily. And she is a student in this class. So if you go, I'm going to go to her student dashboard. And you can see that she's in my sample class called Mathagon Middle School. So now if I go to Polypad under her account and go to her library, there are assignments in her library. So she would click on this. She would work on this assignment. Maybe she knows the GCF of 18 and 30 without having to pull these apart. So she could put an answer of six. But maybe she's not able to look at these numbers and know the greatest common factor. So maybe she pulls out a three as a common factor, and then she might pull out a 2 as a common factor, and then maybe she'll pull out another 2, and she might think that the greatest common factor is 12. Ooh, but it's wrong. Oh yeah, she missed a green one. She missed a 3. So now she can pull out a 3 and see that the answer is 36. Confetti comes down. She got it right. She will save it. And then if I go to the teacher account and hit the refresh button, there's her work. So that uh, combination of green and orange means she got the questions all correct, but needed a few attempts on one of the questions in order to get it correct. I can see her work here. And what I like as a teacher, I can see that she was able to think about the GCF of 18 and 30 without having to pull them apart. She was able to abstract that idea. But as the numbers got bigger, she found it helpful to pull apart the prime factors to get the, to get the greatest common factor. Right? I could turn off her name if there were a lot of students in this class and I wanted to share work with the class without names. I could turn on and off those names. I could download the data for specific details on, on each of the questions. That's going to download as an Excel sheet, which will pop up on my screen in a few seconds. And then if I don't want this assignment to show up in their Canvas anymore, I can do on the sign, there's the Excel spreadsheet that's finished downloading, so I will show you that first. You can see it says that there's the student's name, there's a link to the polypad if I wanted to go that, that's a screenshot of it. She got one correct the first time, and this one says correct after multiple attempts, so she got one correct after multiple attempts. Right? But now if I go back to her polypad and give it a refresh, that no longer shows up as an assignment of hers because I unassigned it. It is there as a, her, her saved polypad. So she has access to her work still, but it's no longer an assignment because I unassigned it in the teacher dashboard. All right. Hope this is helpful uh, to show you how to make assignments with the question builder feature and assign them to your classes. Thanks for watching.